Hey everyone, we've arrived at Kilgore's Adventures here in Whitebird, Idaho. We're going after trophy sturgeon today, catch and release. And a lot of smallmouth bass. A lot of fun today, stay tuned, it's gonna be a great show. We're here. You guys ready for the big day? We're ready for the big day. Good. Yeah. Well, we're going after the the big fish today. Of course, yeah. the main goal is the big sturgeon. Yeah. But um, we're we're catching a lot of big smallmouth bass and big rainbow trout right now, so we should have nice. perfect timing. The salmon aren't quite here yet, so you're gonna have to come back. Yeah. But yeah. that's all right. I hear the salmon fishing can get good head. though. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gearing up for that, but today. I think we got a really good shot. The bite just turned on over there on the big sturgeon. Our guys have been catching some really nice ones. Yeah. So what's the what's the record for sturgeon here on the snake? Well, I believe the official record is like 10 foot one. And uh, we've caught bigger fish, but they did that record reset. And um, we've caught one that was like 10 and a half or 10 foot five. Mm -hmm. But uh, we started doing that record ladder. You know, everybody caught a bigger and bigger one, I yeah. believe. Um, we're right there at 10, 10 foot one is our biggest, and I think that's still the record. I haven't checked in a while. Okay. Yeah. The state record? Yeah. So you guys have the state record? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's break your record. Yeah, well, I know where it's yeah. at, so we can go up and least. <laughs> I hope you're feeling good, because that one takes a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little bit. Feeling strong. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. I'm ready. Yeah, get closer. <laughs> Kurt, this is crazy. Yeah. I wasn't anticipating this when we uh, met this morning. Yeah, no, this is a great viewpoint. We just came from the Salmon River. Now we're dropping into Hell's Candy and Snake River. And this is a unique point because this is where the Wild River section of Hell's Candy starts, designated by the government, which basically means the cool stuff. Deepest, steepest, most rugged part of the canyon. That's where we're going today. Better than I deserve. <laughs> uh. You 
got a name for these rapids right here? Um, this is Lower Kirby Creek right here. Kind of one of our good little spots to sometimes just grab a quick trout for bait. It's not one we really hang out in super long, but right now what's going on is the uh, the creeks are blown out because they're just blowing really dirty water where we would normally get bait. So you kind of have to get creative and find the spots where you can get underneath the seams and currents and find those big rainbow trout. You can get trout somewhere while you're up there until we get up there. We need a couple trout. Step on that water right there. So how are we cat? How are we catching these trout today, sir? We're trying to catch them out of this fast water. They like to sit in the shallow fast water here. We're running spinners through there with worms. We're trying to catch a couple for bait. We only need two or so for some bait. Uh, those sturgeon like the trout kind of the best. We catch them on the bass. We'll throw everything at them today. Mainly we're just trying to catch a couple trout in the shallow fast water right now. Don't spend a whole lot of time at it. If we don't get one quick, we'll head up. sense of urgency. <laughs> It'll happen. Stay tuned for more Kilgore Adventures after the break. My dad was a veteran, your dad's a veteran, and we really both appreciate and want to honor those guys. A perfect timing. We do a lot of uh, trips with veterans out here, and uh, it's just always been a part of our business. And my dad was in, you know, Vietnam, Rocket City, and somewhere we're real proud of. We invited a couple special guests from the Inland Northwest Wildlife Council in Spokane. They're on the boat. We got Z. <laughs> Howdy. And we, and we got Cam McNaughton. Both of them are on the Wildlife Council, and Ken, mm -hmm. you've got some other things, an advisory committee about ADA access and some other things that you do yeah. for veterans and everybody. Anyone who has a, has a disability, uh, it doesn't mean they are disabled, it just means they are sportsmen with disabilities. Sure. Z, of course, I mean, he gets around really well in his yes, chair. He does. Yes, he and does. I, there's, there's a lot he does that I can't. And sure. I, to look at me, I, does it look like I got much wrong with me except maybe between my ears you well know, you know we're all like that right if who's judging a, who's if judging if Ken? you're a vet you, you so, anyway <laughs> now we uh z and i both sit on the adec which is the ada advisory council to fishing game we uh, report directly to the commissioners our purpose there is to be the advocates for all, all the sportsmen and it doesn't mean just hunters or anglers it could be just people like going out and looking at wildlife sure um for Wildlife Council, we both set up, we're both work the Disabled Access Committee. We're there to create or, or help people find opportunities and uh, access in areas where they haven't gone before. So, one of the things, and this trip today um, really fits one of the things that Ken and I do, not just for Washington, but we've been to uh, Idaho and a couple of different places talking with landowners, people that have different. Um, fishing adventures, hunting adventures, you name it. And we talk we talk with them. How do they make their activity, their business more accessible? And uh, we had a lot of fun doing that. And it's something that we're continuing to build on. You told me a great story earlier. And one of the first things that got you back feeling like you were alive was right. getting out there and catching some rainbow trout. So I was really lucky. I went to the VA's um, spinal cord unit in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And one of the first things that the occupational therapist asked me was, what are your hobbies? I'm like, dude, I'm paralyzed. He goes, no, I didn't ask you what you think you can do. 
a week after I got out of the hospital, I threw my hospital chair at the time, yeah. 68 pounds, threw it out the back door of my truck, dropped down, got in it, had my pole. By the end of the day, I had five really nice rainbow trout, went home, told my wife when she got home from work, I'm like, I got dinner. She's like, what? That had to feel pretty good too. It was awesome. It really made me feel alive again. Yeah. Well, thanks for being out here, guys. and Thanks for inviting us. Uh, you know, all the sacrifice for all the veterans, my dad, Kurt's dad, you guys. I mean, this country owes you a huge debt, and uh, there's not enough that we can do for you. So thanks for being out here. Thank you. What do you got going? Uh, a little bait loop in here. There's a couple ways you can put your bait on this. I like to tie them in a bait loop. It's a stronger knot. And then if you don't put your bait right on the hook, you can put it through this little loop I'll show you. And it's definitely one of the strongest knots once it's finished. That's what it looks like. And then if you push that back, you can either put your bait in there or you put it right on the end of the hook. Or both. Idaho rules the sinker. You're supposed to use lighter weight monofilament, or lighter weight line. We use the monofilament for our sinker. That way, if you do get snagged up, you don't leave hooks and bait on the bottom of the river, you just break off your sinker. Just right over here. Paul, what's going on, man? We got another good hook set. Give it a tug. There you go. Now you got him. Want that clicker on? All right, I just had lunch. Good thing, man. The bait boy's on one, Mike. <laughs> there you go, Paul. Coming up here. Oh yeah, it's a oh. seven. Uh -huh. That's a nice fish, Paul. That's the biggest sturgeon I ever caught. I ain't caught him yet. He heard me say that. Look at that thing. Amazing. You're almost over the finish line, Paul. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 Paul, you did it, man. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Northwest fishing. <laughs> and, and kill more adventures. What an adventure. Woo. Kill more or kill Woo. <laughs> Wow, you got some adrenaline going. Oh, is that a workout? Oh, my arms are pumped up, baby. <laughs> wow. Wow, baby, wow. You know, that was a perfect hook set. I'm glad I ate my sandwich because that wouldn't have happened. You said that right yeah. before I did it. We got to have a sandwich. Yeah. And then, did I set that hook right? You did. You, you got to let the fish take it. You got to feel the weight of the fish. And then you've got to set it like you've never set a hook before in your life. Yeah. yeah, baby. All right, back to be have some more fun with her again. Yep, absolutely. Bye, baby. Yeah, well done. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. Now that was at least seven foot tall, right? And uh, Jeff, yesterday. Beautiful day. We went all the way up to the dam, saw a lot of cool things. We got a nice sturgeon, but the bite was a little tough. Yep, I think it was because we had a big storm that we obviously have in now on its way in. So I think now that it's settled in, we should be able to get up there and get after a lot better bite and hopefully find a big giant one. Very good. Well, the, uh, the boat launch here is busy, 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 and uh, we're just waiting on one guy and then we're gonna hit the, hit the water and 
go get some fish. All right, let's do it. All right. We're gonna pull right up on those rocks up here on the right, get our trout gear out and try to get a worm on those spinners and see if we can't pull a trout out of here real quick for a bait. If we don't get them, we'll just move right to the next spot. In the so fast part? We'll be able to fish on both sides. Let them go a little bit deep and then reel them in super slow, just enough to make that blade spin on there. Okay. Trouts. Alright. Oh. Oh. oh he got off. I lost him on the hoist. Oh, all or no medic. Yeah, he's 12 incher. That's all right. Bait. Oh yeah, that's right. I was, it was all intentional. <laughs> we only take big fish here. Yeah, that's all we want. Hopefully the sturgeon liked that trout also. Okay, now you can. We'll sit in here for 20 minutes or so, and if we don't get a bite, we'll move on to the next hole and run and gun until we run into a big one today. We're gonna be using the carcass for yep. bait. I'll fillet them out and then leave the guts hanging out of the head. Hook them through the eyeball and off the top of the head and that good bloody bass head with those guts hanging out. You seem to like that pretty well. Slippery little guys. I think that spot right there is the... Let's see. Let's find out. Fish on. <laughs> That worked pretty good. That worked really good. So as you can see, there's no lack of smallmouth bass in the Snake River. These make nice little fillets and good sturgeon bait. end up being a little bigger than we think once it gets even better. There we go. Stay yeah. on it, brother. All right, Z. Stay on that, baby. Make him jump. on my breath. <laughs> You're a champion. I had my arm work out for the day. <laughs> you ever caught a sturgeon before? No, I've ever never been fishing for them before, so closest thing I've ever come to a freshwater monster. Been out in deep sea fishing before, but river stuff. Jeremy Wade, eat your heart out. Well, on behalf of the Wildlife Council and 
all the committees that we that we're part of we want to say thank you also because we wouldn't without you guys we wouldn't be able to do this well i know i speak for rob and the rest of the northwest fishing crew it's we who want to thank you guys mm -hmm. for the service to our country and also for bringing attention to the fact that there are uh, programs out there for uh, veterans, uh, veterans that have disabilities, that yeah. can still want to get out in the wild and on the water yeah. or hunting, whatever it may be. And uh, certainly checking out your, um, your uh, website mm -hmm. will help yes. get them pointed in the right direction. Right, just go to inwc.org and click on the Disabled Access tab. I like your Evil Knievel helmet, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> they look better at the glasses. Yeah, much cooler now. Kurt, so this keeps going for days and days. Oh yeah, there is tons of public ground up here, millions of acres, and there's just a huge road system that goes all over the Gospel Mountains. We can literally end up in Montana from here if we oh, want. Wow, and there's fishing up along this. Oh yeah, the Slate Creek right here, is awesome. A lot of these creeks are perfect for fly fishing, spinner fishing, and then there's tons of mountain lakes up here which uh, a lot of people hike into and, and fish those as well. All kinds of options out of Kilgore. Absolutely, they can do whatever they want uh, from one day fishing Hell's Canyon for sturgeon, trout, bass, next day be salmon fishing on the Salmon River, and the third day you can come up in the Gospel Mountains and just see where your adventure takes you. This has been so much fun. I really appreciate you having us out, Kurt. Yeah, you bet, man. It's been awesome. If guys want to get a hold of you, book a trip, plan an adventure, how do they do that? Just jump on our website, KilgoreAdventures.com. Follow us on social media, Kilgore Adventures Instagram, Facebook is the best way. Just give us a call or send us a message. Awesome. Hey, I'm Rob Holman from Northwest Fishing. We'll see you next time.